Hey everyone, welcome back to part five of my create mod series. So today we're going to go over how to automate ore processing uh, inside of the create mod. Now there is a lot of things that have to have been done before you can get to this point. So if you've been following all of my videos in this series, you're good to go. But I'm talking more to the people that might have began watching me on this very first video or found me on YouTube at this very first video. Uh, you're going to need to check out my other videos until you can get to this stage because there's a lot of machines you'll need to build to build more machines which are going to be used inside of this video and this entire contraption to automate all of the processing. Now I'm going to show you how to get from an iron ore all the way to an iron ingot and have the ability to even duplicate certain parts of it. So there's a there's there's a lot going on in here so just try to try to pause the video when you get confused ask comments uh, and I will I'll get you through it don't worry. Uh, so let's open this chest just like all the other videos right inside of here is everything you're going to need for this video Now to go over a couple things these blocks of cobblestone these blocks of glass These are just used for me to build up and showcase different things. Uh, you don't have to worry about this It's just any type of blocks to get you up in the air and stuff like that all of these crushed uh, ores all of these nuggets uh, these you will get back. These are gonna be added to filters and when you add an item to a filter It gives you the item immediately back. It's just a basically to make it filter those items. These four iron nuggets you are going to use. So technically in total, you only need four iron nuggets, but I've put five here just so you guys can visually see what's going on. Now, other than that, um, these blocks of wool could be any type of wool. All of these machines, the depot, encased fan, mechanical press, crushing wheels, basins, gearboxes, vertical gearboxes, shafts, all of those things we've created in previous videos, so either use your JEI or uh, just look at back previous videos for these recipes. Uh, I'm not going over all of these recipes because it would take forever for me to craft all of these things. Um, other than that, this is dried kelp. It's just simply taking kelp, putting it in a furnace, and that's how you get dried kelp. That's a basic Minecraft thing, and we're going to need a lot of it. Uh, but yeah, I think I've gone over it all. Other than that, grab your wrench, basically like every video so far. Um, we're going to grab all of these items because we have some crafting that we're going to need to do. We'll leave these items in for now um, because we haven't made the filters yet. But the first thing we're going to do is make a mechanical belt, which is six dried kelp for one. We're going to make two, so we'll go ahead and craft those two. Next thing is we have a filter, which is a piece of wool, any type of wool, and two iron nuggets. We're going to also make two of those. And then we're going to make some brass funnels which is two brass ingots, one electron tube, and one dried kelp equals two. And we actually need six of these things. So uh, pretty pretty expensive. You might be able to get away with some andesite funnels, but I they gave me a lot of issues because they don't allow you to do filters. Um, so I think it's easier just to do this, a lot less stress. So um, that's kind of my opinion. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with that. So let's, let's begin. So I've created an area with wool right here showing this is where it's going to go. Now I apologize if the video is lagging a bit, but I have two machines over there running one in the way back. That's very complicated of how to do this processing even better. Um, and then this is the most efficient version of it. So this is what I'm building. It's quite, quite unique. Um, so we're going to start out by building our crushing wheels. So in order to do that, we're going to need some magma blocks, we're going to need some vertical gearboxes. We have our crushing wheels um, and we're going to need our encased fans. We're going to need levers. We're going to need our shafts. So we, we have a bunch of stuff that we're about to need. So um, let's start out by we're just going to place up two like so. We're going to break this and break this. Now we have our two magma blocks. So this is just like what we did before. We're going to go ahead and place our encased fan on top case fan on top again if you don't know what i'm doing please look back at the other videos basically i'm building basically kind of like a generator in a sense i guess we could call it we're gonna grab our cobblestone as well place a piece of cobblestone place a lever that'll activate our fans uh let's go ahead and hop on up uh next thing is we're gonna put our vertical gearboxes down if i can put them down correctly there we go just like so uh, we're going to go ahead and take, should be a shaft on one of them. So we'll put the shaft over there. We need our regular gearbox, like so. Take our regular gearbox, and then we're going to put our crushing wheels, just like so. So this is exactly like what we've done before. We'll break this. And basically, just like usual, the crushing wheel is going to get an item and drop it down. So we actually have to automate this a little bit uh, to make it a little bit easier so we don't always have to be up here. We're going to take a brass funnel 
and we're going to set it right there. And then we're going to take a chest, and we're going to set one like that. So now we're going to place our ores in this top chest, and that will immediately drop them into this crushing wheel. So now we've done this, I'm going to go ahead and place a piece of cobblestone right here. So it drops down, it's going to land on this piece of cobblestone. Now we're also going to take this, we're going to place some cobblestone like so, put a brass funnel like so as well. Because when these items drop, they have a chance of dropping cobblestone, so that's our issue is that if we throw cobblestone through our system, it's actually going to destroy the system. So a nice easy fix to that is if we take one of our filters, and we take all of our crushed ore, and right-click. We'll put all of the crushed ores inside of here. So you can shift right-click to throw them in here, or you can click and put them in, um, and then you just hit the check mark. Now this filter is only going to allow copper ore, uh, gold ore, iron ore, and zinc ore, or the crushed versions of that, is, excuse me, is what I mean. Um, and we'll put these guys back in. You're simply going to look at the filter section, right click, and now this funnel will only accept those. So now when these items drop down, we have this other little issue that we've now run into of the items are just going to sit there and they're not going to move. So a nice little fix to that is, whoops, let's do this. If we place in a case fan like that, break that, we're going to take a magma block and we're going to place that one block down like so. We're going to take another encased fan, I'm going to move it, I can move it like so. We're going to take our vertical gearbox, and we're going to set it like so, and then we just need a lever to activate these guys, and now we have our fan that will blow it into this funnel. So boom, we've, we've completed step one. Now our next step is if we put a ton of these ores in, it's going to overflow really quickly and mess up our system. So a nice little solution is to place a double chest, just like so again. Um, and then we now need to do our next little kind of very, I guess we could say it's a very unique step, is we're going to take a depot. We're going to place that there. We're going to take our brass funnel, and we're going to kind of need to shortcut this one a little bit, is we need to, let's, let's build up. Because we need to basically place this whoops, on the edge. So if you shift right click on the chest, it will now pull out these items of the chest and place them on the depot. Now our idea here is it's going to place our items here and we're going to be able to wash them by shooting uh, water with a fan at the depot. While it's sitting on the depot, it can't despawn. So this will be able to wash it until the next step. So. Basically now, we have to do this little tricky section of placing a slab right there, which probably our easiest way to do this would be to place a slab just like so. And feel free to pause this video, guys, um, if you are struggling at all, because I know that this is going to get a little crazy. It's, it's taking me a day to even figure out what the heck I'm doing, so... <laughs> Um, we'll go ahead and place our cobblestone just like so again. Um, I did not mean to break the second one. Which if you guys remember from the encased fan video, uh, how I made like generators, uh, and how I was able to wash ores, you're going to remember and how I'm doing this step. So we're going to take the encased fan here and we're going to place it. Of course it places wrong, so we're going to have to fix him. There we go. So the fan is facing this way. We're going to take our water bucket. We're going to place that there. We're then going to take our, let's see, our vertical gearbox. Just like so. Break the piece of wool really quick. Break this one as well. We're going to take our magma block. We're going to place that there. We're going to take our encased fan we're going to place that one there and then we just need a lever oops a lever to activate this guy so i believe if i do that it's now going to wash our ores when it falls into the gearbox so or excuse me falls into the depot so now that we've gotten that let me clean up some of these blocks so you guys can realize what you need and what you don't need um we're gonna move to the next step so you can see in the next step it looks very confusing um, to, to say the least, it looks very confusing. So our next step is to actually break underneath of the depot because we need a way to now extract from our depot. 
uh, which is not as simple as using a funnel because the funnel does not work between two inventories. So we need a way to extract it without an inventory, which the best thing to do that is, is using a belt. So if we place a shaft and we place a second shaft, we take a mechanical belt and we right click on, oops, we right click on both. We can now place a belt. Now our next issue is that, and sorry, I'm just breaking everything at the moment. Our next issue is that our belt's not activated. So we need a way to activate our belt. So another easy solution is to just use our generator because we don't really care on how fast this will go. It'll be able to sort itself out through all of the machines prior to this. So if we take our encased fans, uh, we take our vertical gearbox. So we'll put one there and we take our magma block, we take our encased fan and we take our lever and we turn that on then we just build our way up. You can now see our belt is slowly turning. Now that's fine. It does not need to be that fast. It won't clog up because it has to go through all of these processes before it gets here. So that will be fine. Our next step is basically, and I apologize, I keep looking back. This is a lot to put into one video. Our next step is that funnel now. So if we take our brass funnel and we click it on the side of this, it's now going to take our items from the chest, wash them, and place them here. Now the issue is, is to wash the item, we have to wait until the item turns into a nugget before we actually pull it out and send it to the next machine. So that's our next issue, is because right now it's just going to immediately pull it out. So our solution to that is we take another filter, we take our nuggets, we right click, put our nuggets inside, and then we can put these guys back. And we're going to place a filter onto this one, just like so. So then after that, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm doing this correct. Yep, doing it is going to be another <laughs> another brass funnel and we're going to need our basin because now we've turned them into nuggets, but we're now running into the issue that they're nuggets, they're not ingots. So we need a way to actually smash these things now. So our best bet to do that is to place a basin like this because at the moment, if the items goes to the end of the uh, conveyor belt, it's just going to shoot up in the air and not go anywhere. So if we put the basin next to it, it's just going to shoot into the basin, but it could also miss the basin. So another, <laughs> you can, now you see why it's taking me eight, hour, eight hours, is you take a brass funnel and you place it with the larger side against the conveyor belt and it will suck it in and push it into the basin. So boom, now we've gotten the basin. It gets to the basin now. Uh, but we now need a way to go ahead and smash it. So if you remember, we have our mechanical press. So if we put our mechanical press above it, and then we take a vertical gearbox, like so. We take a, um, excuse me, sorry, I can tell I'm tired. Take an encased fan, and we take a magma block, and we're just gonna have to actually rotate this guy. Oops. Uh, and then take a lever and activate it, we now have our mechanical press, so boom, now it presses it. But now we've run into another error where it's going to now be stuck into the basin and we don't have a way to get it out of the basin. And if we take a depot, we're not gonna be able to take it out of the depot. So we need another solution to be able to fix this. So our next best solution is exactly how you guessed it, to build another mechanical belt. So let me build out of this. I apologize, I want to make sure I was on the right track here. So you're going to take the two shafts, place them down again, place our mechanical belt, and then we need a way to power this again. So next best bet is our vertical gearbox again. We're going to do the whole trick just like so. So I'm going to own up to my mistake that you actually needed one more magma block. In my editing, I've probably put in there that you guys needed an extra magma block, whatever total amount that was. Um, but you're going to place down your encased fan, you're going to place down your magma block, you're going to take down your lever, you're going to activate it, and now we have another conveyor working. So we're, we're almost at the end, people. We're almost at the end. So we're going to... Oops. We're going to now need to do another trick to actually pull it off of our conveyor belt so it doesn't spew everywhere. Because, of course, even if you're not on a server, items are going to despawn if they're on the ground for too long. So we need a way to place them in a chest. So if we take our chest, and we don't mishap and place them incorrectly, and we place them, <laughs> and, the, and the funnel's not going to be a jerk, 
and we place it just like this, they will now successfully go into the chest. I know. So I know you guys probably think I'm insane for all of this madness that I just built, but it works. So let me go grab some ore and I will go ahead and prove it to you. All right, so I have two pieces of iron ore. Um, of course, we can do any type of ore. We're going to throw it into the chest. It's going to immediately get crushed. It's going to take a second. Depending, if you throw a stack in here, it's going to take a, a pretty good amount of time. Now, you can speed this up if you use a different power source to power these crushed wheels. Um, but then you might run into filling this chest a little too quick. Um, but I have made it a double chest, so you would need to get several stacks of crushed um, ores before you'd actually put this to like a max capacity. Uh, but still. Um, you basically can right click from the ground still on this chest, depending on how you build the system, whether you build it on your ground or not, you might be able to access this just from the floor. Um, and I will show you in how to access this all on one level, but it's really going to add some major, uh, major construction into this. Um, there we go. So our crushed ore has just fallen. I probably edited it so I didn't waste you guys time too, too much. Um, and now you're going to see the fan is going to blow it into this funnel and then I'm gonna stand over here because as soon as it goes into the funnel it immediately goes into the chest and then immediately pops out and gets placed onto the depot and is now being washed so now we're gonna watch it be washed and then you're gonna watch it pop out yep it immediately turned to iron nuggets pops out down there goes into that funnel and now some are waiting there because there's already been nine that have been placed into here so that will smash out into an ingot and then immediately get placed into the chest and it will continue to smash these things until we are done. So you can see I've put in or I've placed two iron ore in so far. And just to prove to you guys that it does duplicate some ores is so far, whoops, we already have two iron ingots. And you can see there's still iron nuggets left. There we go. Now we have three and it's probably even going to make us four. So it's going to give us a good amount. Now, I've even designed this, so let's say iron and gold nuggets go into here at the same time, and there's three left of each. It will continue to smash these whatever one it gets first. So let's say it ends up getting more iron, it's going to just make another iron ingot. It won't get hung up at all, so you'll be fine. Um, but yes, this is how you make uh, the automation version of ore processing. It's a lot. It's a lot. Again, all I ask is that you leave a like on this video because I had to design this myself. And then this is the mayhem of, you're watching my frames drop, of how I created this process to all activate from a chest. And I want to show you guys how this works really quickly is this one comes from a chest, immediately gets taken out of a chest and brought by a mechanical belt all the way up here and placed into a crusher. And then if I fall down, it drops down onto a conveyor belt. And right here, I've done this little situation here. If I wanted to save my cobblestone, that these two brass tunnels will actually separate whatever comes through here. So if it finds cobblestone, it sends it into here and places it in a chest. This one, if it finds any type of the crushed ore, it will now send it upstairs over here, place it inside the chest, place it inside a little area right here on a depot, wash it, drop it, drop it again, place it into a basin, exactly like our system, and then run it all the way, all the way over to here, drop it into empty space, and they get picked up by a brass funnel to go ahead and turn into ingots. Now, I wanted to show this process because this is running all of the two water wheels. Of course, we did it by generators for everything else, um, but you can get very advanced with my basic, te or basic technique that I did. Um, I know this was a long video. I see my recording time at the moment is 20 minutes. Hopefully I've edited it down by more than that, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching. All I ask is that you leave a like on this video and I'm really glad that you guys have enjoyed the series so far. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video.